Hello, in this session we will learn how to backup a Joomla website. For this example I have taken Joomla latest version of 2.5. Alright, well, just a quick note to viewers and participants. You may just want to pause and go through it. Alright. So the answer is using a Kiba backup you can back up your Joomla website and as I said I've used the latest version of Joomla for this which is 2.5.4 so what are the steps involved in backing up your entire Joomla website the first step is you must download a Kiba backup from the following website URL it's www.akibabackup.com slash download dot html then install Akiba backup on your Joomla website complete Akiba Backup configuration, run Akiba Backup to backup your website and finally find the backup file generated and it will be a file with .jp extension. Alright, so let's get started. Let me do one thing is, first thing is let's download Akiba Backup. So click on this link It's taken us directly and if you scroll down that's where you will find a download link so that's what is a Kiba backup and here it says download from our CDN page click on that you may want to download the latest version So let me just download for English GP. I say save and it's saved. And while you're doing that, you may also want to download the actual. So what we've downloaded is just the language file. Okay. Go here and download the exact version. We'll just take a moment scroll down and that's the version you may want to download 3.5.1 okay this one if you look at this this version is made and supports only Joomla version which are 2.5.1 or later all right so let me just download it and then download now all right just takes a fraction of a minute to download it. it's very fast look it's just done now once you have downloaded it I say view my downloads and it's right here can you see that once you've done that you need to install it in order to install it you need to log in as administrator in your Joomla web page so let me just go to my Joomla web page. Login as administrator, admin, give you a password. Go to extensions manager and simply go to browse and locate the place where you have downloaded it. If you look at this, that's the one. I downloaded it 3.5.1 click on that hit on the open button and then now in order to install it simply click on upload and install button as you would see installation of the component was successful and it shows you the message out here so let's go back to our presentation to understand what's next so we have downloaded it, we have installed it, now we need to complete Akiba backup configuration in order to do that you need to go to the Akiba configuration page in Akiba components 
all right so in order to do that you should go to components akiba backup did you see that yes that's the one all right so these preferences are automatically checked you don't have to check it but in case they are not checked you may want to check them all and simply hit the button at the bottom apply these preferences right as soon as I apply look at this the configuration wizard is running a series of benchmarks on your servers to determine the optimal backup settings for your site so while this is happening you may not want to do anything else on your website so it just takes around one to two minutes to complete so give it its own time and don't be impatient all right at the second last one hopefully it should complete within a minute and as you would see out here it's given a message as well it's normal to appear frozen for periods up to three minutes look it's completed congratulations you have completed the automatic configuration wizard once it's done you can either hit the button backup now right from here or you can go to control panel click on this it takes you back to the control panel so let's have a look how the control panel of Akiba backup looks like this is how it looks like and now simply hit on the backup now button once your backup you, this takes you onto the screen now it, it by default it takes the latest date and time from the system and if you want to give a comment for backing backing up then you can simply give it here so I say backup to demo Akiba backup all right once you have written your comment and make sure you write something out here because it helps to later retrieve information or it helps you later you might have 10 backup files so which one to pick up so th this information helps you to pick up your exact file later all right now once you're done hit the backup now button again it takes very fast assuming that if your website is big then this process can take longer it depends on your website database how big it is so in my case my website database is a demonstration website so it will be very fast it should complete within two minutes so let's give another minute and hopefully it should get complete <coughs> excellent look it's just completed now and now once it's completed you may want to hit on this button administer backup files it will show you all the backup files that's been created you can in fact download it from here but that's not the right way of downloading it you should open FileZilla change the mode to binary and then download it from your server to your client you should never download it from here alright if you download it in ASCII mode then it may come out as a corrupted file make sure you always download in binary mode okay now once you're done with this where to locate this file in the system directory now in order to find where to locate this file you need to go to the place where you have installed your Joomla I have installed it in C, C prompt XAMP HTDocs this is my website name free oracle trainings this is where I have installed it so within this whatever name you have given find the folder for that then go to administrator go to components and then there will be a folder called as comma kiba click on that and then within this folder you may find the folder called as backup so click on this and that's where the file is located did you see that that's what is your backed up file so let's go back and that's what we have done it so we've run the kiba backup we found the backup file generated and it will be a file with JP extension thank you very much for watching this goodbye